Welcome back. We're here in the kitchen with Chef Joe Williams from Kitchen 324 to make an awesome bread pudding. I love yeah. bread pudding. Do I you do, do too. Yeah, he's yes, a fan. Yes, I love bread pudding. Great Absolutely. Day. We're going to make a chocolate espresso bread pudding. Oh, I like that even better. Yeah. It's going to wake you up. Yeah. Absolutely. Right? Absolutely. Uh, it can be for breakfast or dessert. There you go. Yeah. I like this it. This is part of our dessert menu at Kitchen 324. Um, this bread pudding is really special because it utilizes two of the ingredients that we um, use every day at Kitchen 324. Mm -hmm. um, bread pudding is traditionally made with a day old or stale bread, mm -hmm. and these are cubes of our own baguettes that we oh, make yeah. and bake every day yeah. in house. Uh, we'll also use a ground espresso powder. This is an espresso that we offer in our own coffee bar. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is a madcap espresso, and I believe this variety is Artie. Artie. So. Okay. These are all of the ingredients that we'll use. Um, we've got whole cream here, sugar, chocolate chips, whole eggs, a bit of orange zest, okay. some cocoa powder, okay. espresso powder again, mm -hmm. and a bit of vanilla. Okay. The first step in making a bread pudding is to create a custard. Uh, this is a really simple recipe for folks who don't bake mm -hmm. or don't do a lot in their right uh, here, this one. kitchen. Hand this up. is yeah. one. We're going to yeah. mix everything in the same okay, pot. Okay, that's kind of easy too. That's a lot of sugar. But when it's in the same that's bowl, awesome. is the way to do yeah. it. Well, I'm, this is probably a bit more custard than you would normally use okay. Okay. for this amount of pudding we're making. But okay. for the sake of. Don't be afraid to make too much. Yeah. Yeah. Just okay. make as much as you Trust want. We'll, we'll figure it out. We got a kangaroo that's a little hungry. Exactly. <laughs> we'll get him some. This is the cocoa I've added. This is some orange. Zest here. Okay. Um, a bit of vanilla extract. Yes. So you're doing cocoa and espresso powder. Exactly. Okay. Most of the flavor will come from the cocoa. The espresso yeah. will be just um, a bit of an enhancement to the chocolate, actually. Okay. Okay. It will come through as espresso, however. Oh, so the last okay. step would be to crack the eggs into this custard. I love that you use both hands because I'm always intimidated by the chefs who like crack it with one hand and open it up, and I'm like, man, do it like the real people. I'm not in a hurry today. Yeah, <laughs> yeah okay, right. There you go. If right. we were making it for yeah. the restaurant, 30 eggs like, at a time, yeah. you, do it, what, you do it one handed? Um, yes, I do. Okay, all right. I do. Yeah. All right because good. generally there's something in the other hand. Maybe. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that's probably a good point. Yeah. So I'm going to uh, mix this. Okay. Careful of the cocoa and the espresso powder when you're doing this. Um, it's a very, very fine grind on those two, yeah. and they aerosolize quite easily. Okay. It, I'm sorry. What does that mean? Yeah, yeah. That they mean? will it, uh, disseminate into uh, the air. Okay. okay. So basically, don't breathe it in. Exactly. Yeah. Couple, yeah. And you might wear it. I tend to, and yeah. I have actually, oh. I tend to wear a bit of it when I make it. Hey, at the you know what? On. Save a little for later. That's, exactly. Yeah. That's a sign of a good. Chef, I don't know. What, I think so. Yeah. Or at least the chef that's <laughs> enjoying themselves. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> so here's our custard. Okay, custard's uh, made. These are our uh, stale bread cubes. Uh, okay. You can chop them larger, smaller. It's really up to. However, you, you can't mess it up. Up okay. to you, exactly. Good. We'll add those. Uh, in a perfect situation, we would want to let this sit. Um, I really like to let uh, my bread pudding. Custard sit for quite a while, at okay. least 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. Give it a lot of time to really absorb um, the custard into the bread. You can put another bowl on top of this and weight it down with a heavy can mm -hmm. just to kind of force the uh, Help issue soak a it bit. up a little bit. Yeah. Exactly. Okay, okay. Exactly. So this is done. The last right. thing we'll do is actually, uh, and we'll put this into a baking dish. Like I said, we're okay. making. Kind of a small one today. At home, okay. you probably make Maybe a little bigger, yeah. a bit it's larger, a and bigger. you can imagine at the restaurant it's well, we're quite want a bit seconds. larger. Yeah, <laughs> there exactly. you go. So this is the pudding. Okay. We will stun we it go. with chocolate. Yes, mm. and I like to bury some of this chocolate so that oh, it's really it. throughout the yeah. bread pudding. Yeah, you yeah, don't want to exactly. be you don't want to be shy with the chocolate. Chest, no, you know. exactly. And this, if you've had bread egg pudding before. Um, it's generally. I'm gonna add a little bit more, Joe. Go okay. for it. Go for it. I'm a chocolate kind of girl. You know what I'm gonna do, Joe? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna eat a few. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. This is a great chocolate. Yeah, You'll love it's it. good. Generally, uh, bread puddings that maybe your grandmother made or your mother makes um, are quite dense and can be a bit dry. Um, this mm -hmm. is a very custardy. You'll see. Okay. Bread pudding. Um, okay. Really decadent. I'M GOING TO JUST yeah. PLACE THIS IN THE OVEN. THIS BAKES IN A REGULAR uh, 350-DEGREE OVEN. MOST THINGS YOU'LL FIND IN THE BAKE SHOP DO BAKE AT ABOUT 350. YEAH. I'VE GOT ANOTHER PUDDING HERE FOR US. OKAY. THE MAGIC OF TELEVISION HAS A LOT exactly. US TO DO THIS. YEAH, THERE WE GO. EXACTLY. PERFECT. SO, HERE 
is the finished Thanks product. Wow. wow, that looks, looks fantastic. It looks delicious. Thank you awesome. very much. Uh, and at Kitchen 324, we finished this with, and I will just serve you a bit of it. We finished okay. this with a creme anglaise, which is a vanilla custard sauce. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> Oh, that sounds delicious. Can you like put any more sugar and cream and greatness? I was going to say, you keep adding like, flavors that well, I'm really not and offended egg, by. And egg, you know, so yeah. there's protein. But do you oh, see yeah. how... <laughs> sure. You know, we can justify it's it. A, it's a healthy breakfast, right? There's, there's orange in it. it. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. So this what, is your vanilla custard? Can you pour this on there? Exactly. At okay. the restaurant, we would serve it just like this. Okay. Uh -huh. And you have a, cara or a birdie carafe here of our creme anglaise sauce, studded with natural vanilla bean. Mm. And mint. then just mm -hmm. a little mm -hmm. bit little garnish. of garnish. It frees yeah. it up a little bit. That is exactly, and that is our uh, chocolate espresso bread pudding. Wow, that's awesome. And really, it wasn't that difficult. It's to really make. not. I mean, it's not. The, the uh, biggest component of this is the 45 minute to an hour bake time. Okay. Other than that, it comes together really quickly, um, it disappears really quickly yeah. as well. Yeah, not hard to absolutely. make, however. Just go to Kitchen 324 and exactly. get some of it. Come yeah, to you know, come to I mean, you guys know so what you're pretty. doing. And then you have no dishes to worry about. Yeah, exactly. Perfect. You get it on your shirt, you know, you can go home. You know, it's and not can a big we deal. talk about these delicious things Ooh, over here? Real quick. As I said before, this is a part of our uh, dinner dessert menu. Mm -hmm. uh, these are some other items from our dessert menu. We've got an individual pecan pie. Mm. Uh, it's topped with uh, uh, whipped cream and. Yes. Uh, you're not seeing it here, but it comes with also a chocolate sauce. We throw oh, a little wow. bit of chocolate on that as yeah. well. We've got a toasted coconut donut. Right the here. donuts are very oh, popular at Kitchen awesome. 324. That looks delicious. Jonas. This is filled awesome. with a really crazy coconut Let's cream. Just see. Let's just see how good it is. Go yeah. Let's go just go ahead. How is it, Jason? Is mm. it good? Yeah, he's, he's liking not it. Mad at it. He's, he's liking not it. Mad at it. And I've been <laughs> eyeing this like this the whole segment. This is our what chocolate is this right mousse. Here? Okay. And this is a I'm very in. small sampling of it. This comes as a family style giant oh, wow. okay. mixing bowl of chocolate mousse. Family style can still be for one. It's right. Not, if you're you know, Jason Black, you're not going to offend anyone. Okay, I'm going to try. Go for it, Abby. Mm. Good. That's delicious. All this stuff looks great. I want to go to the restaurant. I dessert. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Come on, come on. We're waiting for you. Get a little bit of everything okay. and share it. There you go. Perfect. Yeah. One more time. Where are you guys located? We're at 324 Robinson Avenue uh, in downtown Oklahoma City. Yeah. Okay, perfect. We're going to like go on a sugar high yes, over the break. And then we need it. Coming up, <laughs> I'm going to show you a fabulous array of wedding gowns, and we're going to introduce you to a perfect staycation destination, highlighting rustic elegance and a ranch-style experience. How fancy is that? Keep it here.